Hey everyone, I am making this sweet, so sweet, cowl today. This is a crochet pattern. I would be wearing it, but it would mess up my microphone. So here's a picture of me wearing it, just so you can see what it looks like. You can get the pattern down below. Let's get started. So the yarn I used was a sport weight, or it claims it's a sport weight. It's from Knit, um, Knit Crate. Unfortunately, Knit Crate is out of business, so we will not be able to Use that same yarn unless you already have it in your stash, but you can substitute with a sport weight or a very light um, like DK weight that will work perfectly fine. Um, I used a four millimeter hook for this one because it was a little thicker than the normal sport weight, but you could go three and a half, four millimeter, whatever you want. We are going to walk through the pattern repeat, which is pretty quick to memorize, it's only four rows, so we're gonna go work on that now and make this guy. Okay, one quick announcement before I get started. I have a goal of reaching 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I need your help, and you will be rewarded. About 95% of you watching right now are not subscribed, so this is going to be an easy one. Subscribe, and you can win a $500 gift card to your favorite craft store, whether it's Nitpicks, Joanne, Michaels, Whatever it may be, if they sell gift cards, I'm going to get you a $500 one and you get to pick it. So all you have to do is hit the subscribe button. You'll be in the list for the drawing. And once I hit those 200,000 subscribers, one of you is going to get picked. Now let's get back to the pattern. Okay, so to start off, we are going to make a multiple of six foundation chains. So the pattern itself calls for 100 and eight chains if you want to make the cowl wider or you know bigger around your neck just add multiples of six and that will get you there we join it and then we're just going to do a round of single crochet so i've already got that done so we can get right into the pattern repeat so the pattern repeat starts with the chain one and then we're going to single crochet in that same stitch that we joined our last round of single crochet in we're gonna skip two stitches, so one and two, and then we're gonna do seven double crochets in the next stitch to create a fan. So it's a pretty simple repeat. That's kind of just all we're doing <laughs> all the way around. Just keep track of how many you've got going on. Four, five. Six. Make sure you have slack or your yarn will follow you. And then I've already lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're just going to skip another two chains and start the process over. So always kind of pull to look for your chains if you need to. You can look at the top of your stitches. This is like a chain type yarn. It makes it very fluffy at the end but it's kind of hard to read the stitches sometimes so this yarn is not great for a beginner but i really love how squishy it is so we're going to skip two chains and then single crochet in that next chain just like we did at the beginning and then we just kind of repeat that so we skip two again and then seven double crochets in the next chain Then we just repeat that process. So we're going all the way around with that. So skipping another two and single crochet. So keep continuing that around and then we'll come back for the next round repeat. So here I am on the last fan. I've done five. I just need two more double crochets. And you'll see on the chart that it gives a little slip stitch for right at the very end. So we skip those last two single crochets and we're back at the beginning of the round and that's where we're slip stitching we're slip stitching in that first single crochet then we are ready for our next round so the next round is pretty simple we're going to start with a chain three you can do a tall chain with the double crochet if you want but i'm just kind of sticking with the chain three because it's not super important since we're working in the round then we're just going to be doing double crochets in the middle of our fan stitches. So we skip the first fan stitch and then we're gonna work five double crochets into the next 
five stitches. So you don't really need to count, you just kind of have to pay attention to where you're inserting your first double crochet of the five. So they should line up with the five middle fans of all seven. So you see I skipped the first one and then I'm skipping this last one. Oh, I should finish my stitch here. Then it says, you know, we're skipping three stitches and technically we are we're skip skipping the last double crochet, the single crochet and the first double crochet, but you don't really need to count if you can see your stitches well. You just know you're skipping this first double crochet of the next fan and then working five more. So there's nothing in between. We're not doing chains or anything. So your stitch count is not going to be the same as the last round, but we even it out as we work on. So we're gonna keep on doing these five around and then we'll come back for the next round. All right, I ran at the last fan stitch. And then I'm going to join with a slip stitch at the top of my chain three so that I can join my round. One thing to note, if you're gonna make the cowl taller than what's called for in the pattern, it's on this round or after the next two, so we're on one, two, three. So either three or five is the round repeat that you wanna end on, cause you can see it's almost straight across so that you can do the last round of single crochet. So just notice that when you're working, if you wanna make it taller or shorter, end on a three or five round repeat so that you can do the single crochets nice and easy around. All right, so now we are doing round four. We're going to offset our fan stitch. So we're gonna start with a chain three, and then we're gonna do three double crochets around our chain space, or it's not really a chain space, it's just a space. So it makes it very easy to see where we're working. So we're gonna do three here because we're going to do even more in the next space. So this is, You'll see how it works out once we come all the way around. After we do our three, so this is technically four all together, that chain three counts as a double crochet. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the middle DC of the five below. So you can either count skipping two and working into that third, or you can just look at your stitches and go, here's my middle one. That's where I'm gonna do my single crochet. Then we're skipping the next two and we're doing seven double crochets around that space. So it makes it easy to work into. You don't have to work under the loop or anything, or there's not really a loop, <laughs> but you're gonna do seven double crochets around that space to make a nice big open space. I think I've got six, let me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's the repeat. We'll do something special right at the end, but find that middle, do single crochet, and then seven more. So we just continue that around and we're almost done with our repeat. Okay, I just did my last single crochet and now I'm back at the beginning of the round. So we're doing seven DC fans and we have four that we started at the beginning. So we want to do another three to make the full seven. So I'm gonna go kind of right under the join just to kind of even out where, where it's at. I can put it over here in the same spot as the other three, but um, it, that part's totally up to you where you wanna put these three. You can put it under this spot and join over here, wherever you think it looks best. I just kind of wanna keep this chain three straight so that kind of helps. So then I'm gonna join and we're on our last round. And so because we're offsetting these fans, we're gonna repeat what we did here. But since we're in the middle of a fan, we have to start by doing kind of a half again. So we're gonna do chain three. Then we're gonna, we have three chain or three DCs here, part of, you know, the five that we're making. So we're gonna do one and two and skip that last one. So this is what you kind of want to visualize so that you don't have to read the pattern. You can just remember, you know, what you need to do to keep these offset. So we're doing half of these five, then we're skipping the next three, or just remember you're doing five in the middle of the five chains. So 
sometimes I'll pull my stitches apart to try to see them better. So I've pulled that apart. There's my first one. So I'm starting in that second one. And we're doing those five again. So we repeat that around. Okay, here I am at the beginning of the round again. So remember, we did three of our five. So we have these three double crochets left. So we only need two more to finish off those five matching double crochets for all the other fans. Then we're just going to join at the top of that chain three. And we've got our whole repeat done. So we are completely just repeating those four rounds until you get to the height that you want or you're following the pattern and you finish in the same spot that I did. And then you're just going to single crochet all the way around. So just doing one last round to kind of finish it off of single crochet and then weave in your ends. I blocked this yarn to make it bloom because it is a wool yarn. Um, depending on what kind of yarn you're using, I definitely recommend blocking it to make it pretty. But the stitch pattern itself doesn't really need that much blocking. You can see it lays pretty well without any kind of blocking. But that's, you know, up to you. So that's what we're doing. Let's go do some final thoughts. So that is the So Sweet Cal. I hope you liked it. This used to be a paid pattern, but now it's a forever free pattern. And if you don't know what that is, check out my website. It gives all the information on that. And make sure that you follow me either on my website or Instagram or Facebook or whatever, because I'm giving away tons of free stuff this year. So don't miss out. Be sure to follow me somewhere. But if you like watching the video patterns and the video tutorials and everything else that I do on this channel, be sure to like and subscribe. I am Deja with Knit and Crochet Ever After, and thank you for watching.